Hi, my name is Tudor, and today I would like to introduce the Melt Blown production line to you. So, due to the current pandemic, uh, masks are becoming more and more essential, um, and this is in countries around the world. Unfortunately, a lot of these masks tend to be of poor quality, um, and this is due to an important factor contributing to the effectiveness of the face mask, which is its middle layer, referred to as the Melt Blown layer. That's why I will be introducing our Melt Blown fabric equipment to you. So we're going to start with a brief introduction of the technical process of the Melt Blown production line. Um, the following picture is a process flowchart of the Melt Blown production line. As you can see, this is a single screw extruder where you can place PP raw materials and electric master batch. They are melted and reacted through the extruder, then impurities are filtered by the melt filter. The melt is precisely delivered by the metering pump and then flows to the melt blown die head, where the spinning is driven by hot air. So the melt is then collected on the web forming collector and treated by electric equipment. Finally, these fabrics are slit and rewound. So next we move on to some of the components within the equipment. The first part is the feeding system. It includes three dosing hoppers, which can feed 1,500 MFR PP melt blown raw materials, one to 3% electric master batch, and another one to 3% additives such as antioxidants. At present, there are three dosing feeding methods. So a compact type loss in weight feeder, volumetric feeding, and gravimetric dosing system. We often use a multi-component volumetric feeder in our melt blown lines due to its simple structure. Um, so the multi-component feeding system has three hoppers, the central part is for the PP raw materials, and the other two parts are for the color master batch. So the ratio of color master batch is very small, thus it can be added manually. Its ratio is the same as the extruder speed, and can therefore be adjusted according to the extruder speed. Another feeding method is the gravimetric system. Its main PP material feeding adopts a weight measurement system, and, side, and the side feeding adopts the volumetric feeding method, which has higher precision. So finally, we have the compact type loss in weight feeder. The materials such as color master batch, electric master batch, additives, and main materials adopt a weight measurement system. So its ratio is controlled by a gravimetric system, which provides a very high degree of feeding accuracy. Now we've finished on our introduction of the feeding system and general overview of the melt blown production line. Um, next, we will be looking at the structure of the extruder, along with a suitable compression ratio of the screw and melt filters. I'll see you next time.